on solving multi-step inequalities. As you notice these steps, you're going to see they're very similar to the steps for equations. First thing you want to do is simplify both sides of the equation, or inequality, excuse me. Uh, if there are parentheses, you want to distribute, just like we did before. If you have like terms on the same side, just underline those and combine those. Second, you want to move all the variables to one side. Now in this inequality type problems, we, we do want to move them to the left because that will be the best for graphing. Third, you're going to undo addition and subtraction. And then lastly, undo multiplication and division. Um, what you have to remember here is the special rule. Anytime you multiply or divide by a negative number, you have to flip that inequality symbol. So let's practice here. First example, just a two-step equation. We're going to start by undoing addition and subtraction. So we'll add two to both sides. And then we are going to bring everything down here. We've got 3x is less than 12. Divide both sides by 3. We end up with x is less than 4. We didn't have any special rules here. We'll quickly draw our number line, put the 4 in the middle. It'll be an open circle. And we're going to shade off to the left. Next example. Um, be careful with this one. A lot of times students will see the negative sign there and assume that they want to add to cancel. But if you look at the 6, this is a positive 6. So we actually have to start by subtracting 6 from both sides. Okay, be real careful when you bring things down to here. There is a negative in front of that 4x, so you do need to bring down that negative sign. Bring down the inequality, and then again, note that there's a negative in front of the 14. Sometimes students miss that. So when you combine a negative 14 and a negative 6, you get a negative 20. Next, we're going to divide by a negative 4. So remember your special rule here. We will have to flip the symbol, so it'll end up being x is less than or equal to 5. Graph this. Put a 5 in your middle of your number line, close, circle, shade, left. All right, next problem. Here we have variables on both sides. So we want to shift them over to the left. So since I have a positive 4x, we're going to use a negative 4x on both sides. Bring down the 7. Negative 5 and negative 4 is negative 9. Bring down the inequality symbol. Bring down the negative 2. And then we want to move the 7 over, so subtract 7 from both sides. Bring down the negative 9x. Bring down the inequality symbol, negative 2 and negative 7 is negative 9. Now we're dividing by a negative 9, so again, that special rule should pop into your head. Flip the inequality, so x is greater than 1. Always got to graph your solution here because an inequality doesn't just have one answer, it has a lot of answers. So the solution here is anything that's greater than 1. So you could plug a 2 in, a 3 in, a 4 in, and any of those values would make the inequality true. Number 4, a lot of stuff going on here. We're going to start by simplifying both sides. So on the left hand side we're going to distribute the 5. So we've got 5x minus 35. Bring down the inequality here. Distribute the 2. 4 minus 4x, and then bring down your minus 3. Now we've got to work on combining some like terms here on the right-hand side. If you combine that 4 and the negative 3, that'll give us a 1. And it doesn't really matter the order. You can write 1 minus 4x, or you could write negative 4x plus 1, either way. Everything else will come down. And now we have to work on getting all the variables over to the left. So we have a minus 4x. We're going to add 4x to both sides. That'll give us 9x minus 35 is greater than or equal to 1. And now we've got it back to a two-step. Add 35 to both sides. 9x is greater than or equal to 36. Divide both sides by 9. And we'll have x is greater than or equal to 4. No flipping here because we did not divide by a negative. To graph this one, put the 4 on the number line. Use a closed circle because of that equal bar. And then shade to the right. All right, number five here. It looks like on the left-hand side, we should start by maybe combining some like terms. It's a 6x. And remember, that's a 1x. So that'll give us a total of 7x. Bring down the plus 4. Bring down your inequality symbol. And then distribute the 2. We've got 14x minus 10. Now we have to get all our variables to the left hand side. So we're going to move that 
14x over by subtracting 14x on both sides. So we have a negative 7x plus 4 is less than or equal to negative 10. All right, next we're going to subtract 4 from both sides. Negative 7x is less than or equal to negative 14. And then divide both sides by a negative 7. Again, here we've got our special rule coming into play here. You have to flip around that inequality because we divided by a negative. Um, also, pay attention that 14 was negative, so when you take a negative divided by a negative, it will cancel to give us a positive. All right, we're going to graph this again, and I'm sure by now you've really got this down. Um, use a closed circle and shade off to the right. Remember, you're looking at your answer. You're not looking at the original problem um, because we did have to flip around that inequality when we divided by that negative. All right, one more to go here. Um, we are going to start by distributing 2. Everything on that left-hand side can just come down. We've got the 3x there. So we have 3x is less than 14 plus 10x. Now we have to get all the x's over to one side, so we're going to subtract 10x from both sides. Make sure you bring the x along. I noticed some of you are just doing minus 10 on each side. It is a 10x, so make sure that's there. Um, next, we're going to divide by negative 7. Again, hopefully you're remembering by now that our special rule is going to come into play. Switch around that inequality symbol, and we've got a negative 2. Finish it up with a graph. Negative 2 in the middle. It's just an open circle this time. And we're going to shade off to the right.